Hello, and how are ya? Hey, welcome to the Shen Show. Hey, friends, look, today is Monday, November the 2nd, 2020. Ben's Heights, November the 2nd, a very, very special day to me. On account of my brat, Ashley and Briscoe, was born on this here day. So she's got an ample birthday, a happily, happily birthday. Shout out coming out to her, along with Shenandoah Warnick. Lisa Fairchild and Dennis Forkwear. Now Forkwear, he sold me a car one time, long time ago. I'll never forget the favor he done for me. Oh, I tell you, little old gremlin. That's right, it's a little old green gremlin. But anyway, that being said, here's a birthday song for the poor of you, and it goes something like. This here. Hey Ashley. Hey Lisa. Hey Dennis. Hey Shenandoah. Hey, you know, I heard it's your birthday today. So happy birthday, I must say. You know, you're one more year older today. So happy birthday to you, I say. I said, hey Lisa. Hey Dennis. Hey Ashley. Hey Shenandoah. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So, happy birthday, I'ma say, you know you made another trip around the sun today, so happy birthday to you, I say. Hey, y'all enjoy your day because, hey, it's all yours. All right, hey, that being said, have many, many more. Cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's see, I got some Facebook friends that like the Shen Show, and well, when they like the Shen Show, I like to let them know. And well, here we go. We've got Martin Kelly, Jamie O'Driscoll, Tina Kleeschulte Ashbrook, Leone Pedereza Fernandez, Richie Humiliarto, and then there is my pokey pal. Amanda Sue Little. And those are the folks that are out there and about. You know, it's 50 degrees outside right now, and that's kind of cold to me. And well, that being said, we're going to go ahead and do some weather forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. Now, the remainder of the day is going to be clear skies with lows near 40 degrees. Fahrenheit with winds south southwest, actually southwest, at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, November the 3rd, sunny skies, highs around 71 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour, meaning that it's going to be nice and sunny on vote day. Don't forget to go and vote on uh, Tuesday, November the 3rd. Now, Tuesday night, uh, November the 3rd, uh, is going to be clear skies. Lows around 47 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then Wednesday, uh, November the 4th, intervals of clouds and sunshine. Highs around 74 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south to southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Mostly cloudy skies with lows around 51 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Thursday, some clouds, that's Thursday, November the 5th, some clouds in the morning will give way to mainly sunny skies in the afternoon. Highs around 73 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And mostly clear skies overnight with lows around 48 degrees Fahrenheit and winds light and variable. Friday, uh, sunny skies. Highs around 72 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south at 5 to 10 degrees. 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sorry. Um... That's straight out of the south. Then clear skies overnight with 49 degree temperatures. Winds are going to be south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour.
And then to wrap up your five-day forecast will be Saturday, November the 7th. Except for a few afternoon clouds, it's going to be mainly sunny skies all day. Highs around 71 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south to southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then your overnight temperatures are going to be a few clouds from time to time with temperatures creeping down to around 57 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And all this has been brought to you by Works Tools. Yes, Works Tools are your 20 uh, amp battery operated tools that will create your lawn and garden needs, especially your uh, lawn needs and for this time of year leaf blowers and vacuum suction, suction devices so just remember if you need anything of that nature go on to works www.works.com and they will help you out oh my mouse is everywhere and so I'm clicking on everything everything Alrighty, my CC cleaner is out of date. It needs an update. Not now, though. We'll get it later. We'll get it later. How about some song lyrics? Uh, don't forget to go vote. Vote, vote, vote. Alright, let's see. Song lyrics? Well, I done Elvis the other day, and I done a little, uh... Who was the other guy I'd done? Oh, what is that guy's name? Uh, I don't know, but I do know who I'm getting ready to do. Um, well, I don't know who it is, but I know what it is. Uh, song lyrics, he stopped loving her today. Red Soul Line? No, George Jones. George Jones, that's who it is. We're going to give it a try. Let's put it that way. Let me get a little sip of the H2O water that is good for you and good for me. All right, here we go. Hold on just a second. He said, I'll love you till I die. She told him, you'll forget me in time. As the years went slowly by, she still prayed upon his mind. He kept her picture on his wall. We ain't half crazy now and then. He still loved her through it all. Hoping she'd come back again. Kept some love letters by his bed. Dated 1962. He had underlined in red every single I love you. I went to see him just today. Oh, but I didn't see no tears. All dressed up to go away. First time I'd seen him smile in years. He stopped loving her today they placed a wreath upon his door and soon they'll carry him away he stopped loving her today you know she came to see him one last time oh, we all wondered if she would and it kept running through my mind. This time he's over her for good. Ah, oh, he stopped loving her today.
The bay place to reach the pony's door. And soon they'll be carrying him away. He stopped loving her today. There you go. I had an Uncle Tom that reminded me of old the old possum. Uh, not an Uncle Tom. Uh, he was my cousin. My cousin Tom reminded me of George Jones. And he could play guitar and he could sing like George Jones and why? I guess that there would be a reminiscence of my cousin Tom. I really loved my cousin Tom. My son's named after him, as a matter of fact. Anyway, that was for a simple reason, that my name is Shenandoah, and my son's name is Thomas. And I spelt it wrong. I spelt it wrong on purpose. It's spelt Tomas, but, well, if you want to say Tomas, it's actually spelt Tom Us. Tom, well, not Tom Us, Thomas. T-O-M-A-S. Because... In the event, most folks spell Thomas, T-H-O-M-A-S. But if you cut that down to Tom or Tommy, either way, you drop the H. I figured, being the way I am, lazy, why put that H in there in the first place? So, instead of having to drop the H, it's just not there. Anyway, we're going to do some more George Jones, I think. I don't know a whole lot of George Jones tunes, so when I look them up, if it takes a second here, well, by all means, forgive me. All right? All right. Let's see. Song lyrics, George Jones. George Jones, A to Z song lyrics. Those are the ones I prefer the most, is A to Z. Oh, well, I guess I could do that one. Tell me why, baby, why? Why, baby, why? You make me cry, baby. Cry, baby, cry, baby, cry. I can't help but loving you till the day that I die. So tell me, baby, why, baby, why, baby, why, baby, why? Well, I got a crow I want to pick with you. Just like a time when the feathers flew. Nope, nope, like I said, don't know a whole lot of George Jones songs. George, oh, George Jones was son of a gun when he had a drink or two. Oh, George Jones was son of a gun when he had a drink or two. Well, he ran from president. I will just try that one. Song lyrics, Oh, Bill Jones. Yep, there it is. It's in the Bluegrass Lyrics Group. And here I thought this song was written. I know he performed it quite a few times, but I thought it was written by Jimmy Driftwood, which is possible. But then again, it could have been anybody. Oh, Bill Jones was a son of a gun when he got a drink or two. He'd hug the boys and kiss the girls, and he'd kiss their babies too. He lived on trails that was way easy to follow, way down yonder, moonshine holler. He loved his fiddle, and he loved his fun, and he loved his mountain dew. Well, old Bill Jones was a son of a gun when he got a drink or two. They had a big meeting on in the Cumberland Craig. 
And the people gathered in. The preacher preached till his tongue couldn't wag, but he couldn't stop their sin. When old Bill Jones, he came to give his greeting, they all got happy and had a big meeting. Well, old Bill Jones, well, old Bill run poor sheriff against the Prohibition Man. Prohibition Man, he swore he'd drink the country dry. If the folks would put him in, it almost tickled West to death when old the dries got drunk on old Bill's breath. Well, old Bill Jones was son of a gun when he got a drink or two. Old Bill went a courtin' and he got a gal mad and said, Bill Jones, I wouldn't marry you if all the rest were dead. He slipped some whiskey in her coffee cup, and she was Miss Jones when she woke up. A lion her note says, I knew this old Bill Jones since I was born. And if anything, this song I wrote, well, is about him and a understatement. He was the kind of man who would not do anything for his friends. Uh, and anything to his enemies and was only afraid of two things. Uh, the rattlesnake and the wild hog. Soon after I met him, he traded his saddle for a mule for a, a model T and became a son of a gun on wheels. His wild days over, he married, settled down, raised a family. He settled, studied at night school and become a lawyer. Then a wise, respectful judge he was to give many a suspended sentence to the young Cupprats, fellows like he used to be. Oh, oh, Bill Jones was son of a gun when he had a drink or two. He hugged the boys and kissed the girls and he kissed their babies too. He lived on a trail that was easy to follow way down yonder moonshine holler. He loved his fiddle and he loved his fun and he loved his mountain dew. Well, old Bill Jones was the son of a gun when he had a drink or two. All right, well, there you go. That was old Bill Jones. Uh, well, you know, when you look an up possum and you come up with a Bill Jones, well, there you go. Oh, I'm telling you the words of I'm with the words of the wrong dog The selling the wrong dog Up that I know my name uh, hey, 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 good looking. Oh, what she got cooking? How about cooking something up with me? I said, hey, sweet baby, don't you think maybe you could find us a brand new recipe? I got a hot rod forward and a two dollar bill, and I know a spot right over the hill. I have some sugar popping, and the dance is free. So if you want to have fun, come along with me. I said, hey, get looking. i watch God cooking. So if you want to have Fun, come along with me. I howl, I said, say, hey, get looking. I watch guy cooking. How's about cooking something up with me? 
I'm free and I'm ready so we can get steady. How's about sharing all my, all of your company? Yeah. I said, hey, hey, sweet baby, don't you think maybe you could find us a brand new recipe? I'm going to throw my date book over the fence and buy me a new one for five cents and keep it till it's covered with age cause I'm writing your name down in every page say hey get looking what you got cooking how's about cooking something up I said how's about cooking something up I says uh, how's about cooking something up with me <coughs> All right, well, oh, that's why it sounded so familiar to me. This is George Jones' salute to Hank Williams. That's why. Hey, you know, all of this, all of this is Hank Williams' songs, but hey. Goodbye, Joe, me gotta go, me oh my oh. Me gotta go, pull and pig oh, down the bayou. My Yvonne, the sweetest one, me oh my oh. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. Jambalaya, catfish pie, and a filet of gumbo. Cause tonight I'm gonna see my cherry a meal. A big guitar, filled fruit jar on the big gale. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. A thipudo, a fintebu, and places wasn't. Can folks come to see Yvonne by the dozen? A dressed in style, go hog wild, me oh my oh. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. Jambalaya, crabfish, crawfish pie, and yeah, a fairly gumbo. Cause tonight I'm gonna see my cherry meal. A thick guitar, a fill fruit jar, and be a gale. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. Alright, ditto, boop, boop, boop. Honky Donkin, one more. We'll do Honky Donkin and then we'll get on into the story for the kids, okay? Well, okay. When you are sad and lonely and have no place to go, well, just call me up, sweet baby, and bring along some dough and we'll go. Honky talking, honky talking, we'll go honky talking, honey baby, we'll go honky talking round this town. When you and your baby have a falling out, just call me up, sweet mama, and we'll go stepping out, and we'll go honky talking, honky talking, we'll go honky talking, honey baby, we'll go honky talking round this town. Well, we're going to the city, to the city fair. And if you go to the city, then you will find me there. And we'll go honky tonkin, honky tonkin. We'll go honky tonkin, honey baby. We'll go honky tonkin round this town. I said a uh, honky tonkin round this town. All right, let's see. Let's do some. Stories, stories for the children. Gather around, kids. It's time for story time with TV Grandpa. That's right, it's TV Grandpa time. Time for the mouse that roared. Is that right? We done the Frosty of Legend of. 
snowman yesterday, so let's do the mouse that roared. Time to wind down, time to sit down, and time to hear a story from TV Grandpa. That's me, your master of bedtime reading. The Mouse That Roared Once upon a time in the jungle, there lived an old man. He used to live in an old hut. He was known for his magical powers, and he used to meditate all day long. One day, the little mouse was roaming near the jungle. He was hungry, so he was searching for food everywhere. He wanted to eat something to fill his stomach. Suddenly, he saw that there was a fox chasing him. He got scared. He wanted to save his life, so he decided to go to the old man to ask for help. The poor mouse hurried towards the old man, and when he reached, he asked the old man, Old man, please help me. The fox is chasing me. He will eat me. The kind old man used his magical powers and turned the mouse into a tiger. The tiger was so scared of anyone, he roared loudly and scared the fox away. The tiger was not scared of anyone. He roared loudly and scared the fox away. The fox went sprinting into the jungle. Then the tiger had a change of heart. He became a merciless animal. He used to trouble all the animals and kill them without being hungry. It became his daily job to trouble each animal unnecessarily. He was fearful that he was fearful that if the old man found that he what he was doing, the wrong deeds after becoming a tiger, then the old man would turn him into a mouse once again. So he decided to go kill the old man. The tiger went to the old man's hut and saw that the old man was meditating again. Before he could pounce on him and kill him, the old man turned him into a mouse once again. The old man said to the mouse, Mouse, you should be thankful to me for saving your life that day. But instead of being thankful, you tried to kill me. Finally, the mouse realized his mistake. Feeling ashamed, he said, I am sorry for not being thankful enough to you for saving my life. I didn't mean to do that. To this, the old man said, Now... You deserve to live like a mouse. The moral of this story is we should be thankful for everything we have got in life. That would be everything that we have got in life. Yeah, that's what we should be thankful for. Everything we've got in life, that's what we should be thankful for. All right, let's see. What is our next story? See what, what's up next. That was kind of a short one. So we'll do another one. This one's called The Policeman and the Strange Boots. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a watchman who used to guard a colony. He was a very hard-working and very loyal watchman. One day, a colony watchman was making his rounds. Suddenly, he noticed something brown and shiny under a tree. 
Moving closer, he saw that it was a pair of boots, quite new. Now, who could have left these here, the watchman wondered, but there was nobody around to ask. It was after noon, and everyone was indoors, so the watchman took the pair of boots to the nearest police station. You may leave them here, Mr. Smith, said Mr. Smith, the policeman, pointing to the floor. He was busy writing reports and did not look at the boots carefully. After some time, Mr. Smith put down his pen and decided to have his lunch. He had taken off his boots because it was very hot that day. As he bent down to wear his boots, he found two pairs lying side by side. Oh, which one is mine? They both look alike. Mr. Smith thought it did not matter which pair of boots the policeman put on because they were the same size. He put his feet into the boots on the left. From that moment onward, strange things began to happen to him. As Mr. Smith opened his lunch box, he gazed out the window and sighed. Ah, oh, how lucky those birds are, flying wherever they please. How I wish I were a simple little sparrow. As soon as he said these words, the policeman found himself changed into a bird, a sparrow. Oh, I must be dreaming, he thought. He flew out of the window on the grass and began to look for worms. Quite a different lunch from his lunch, but the very next moment he was surrounded by darkness. A naughty boy had flung his cap over him. The boy caught him and held him tightly. You naughty boy, let me go. I am a policeman, shouted Mr. Smith, but because he was now a bird, the only sound the boy heard was tweet, 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 tweet. <clears throat> the boy sold the sparrow to another boy who carried him home to his mother. What a waste of money, the boy's mother said. This is only a sparrow, a very common bird anyway. You may keep it for a day in the empty cage near the window, at least. Polly will be happy. Polly was a large parrot kept in a big cage. The only words she knew were, No, let us be men. Now, let us be men. This she kept saying all day long. Next to Polly, a Polly's cage was another bird cage, canaries. When she saw how unhappy the sparrow was, she said in the bird language, Fly away, quick! The naughty boy has forgotten to lock your cage. The window is open. Fly away, fly away! The sparrow quickly flew away straight to the police station. But how was he to become Mr. Smith, the policeman, again? He thought, hmm. Then the sparrow remembered Polly's words and said them aloud. Now let me be, mm, let us be men. All at once the sparrow became Mr. Smith again, sitting in his chair at the police station. The first thing he did was the, that he quickly took off the wrong boots locked them in a cupboard and more and more his own boots again and wore his own boots again why their spelling is weird all right hey that was pretty good i think i liked that one just remember when you put on your shoes Make sure they're your shoes because you never know where your shoes may be. We'll take you cruise. All right. Hey, that's it for story time for the kids. Looks like it's time for a portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. And the reason it's called Our Daily Bread is because it's put out by odb.org online, which is Our Daily Bread, the magazine. 
Uh, but today, it's going to be sponsored by The Bible with Briscoe 2020. The Bible with Briscoe 2020 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's reading in the Bible with Briscoe 2020 will be Jeremiah 27 through 29 and Titus 3. So don't forget to tune into the Bible with Frisco 2020 to get your daily reading. Alrighty, the daily bread. Today's devotion is called God Hears Everything. And it's true, you know, and not only does he hear everything, but he knows everything. How about if there was some lost mail? How about the longest lost piece of mail in history? Happened in the UK. Sure did. It was uh, mailed in 1919, and it arrived in 2008 uh, to the, a new homeowner that used to live there. Well, they just kind of messed up. The Royal Mail Service just kind of lost it, and they n didn't know where it came from or how it mysteriously returned, but they sent it that, to that address. And what ha had happened was communications um, was pretty much delayed for quite a while. And so here we go. We're going to be reading First Kings 18, 25 through 27, and 30 through 38. So we'll do that one first. And then we'll come back. We'll do this one. Twink. First Kings 18, 25 through 27. Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, Choose one of the bulls and prepare its first. Since there are so many you, of you, call on the name of your God, but do not light the fire. So, they took the bull given them and prepared it. Then they called on the name of Baal for morning, from morning till noon. Baal, answer us, they shouted, but there was no response. No one answered, and they danced around the altar that they had made. At noon, Elijah began to taunt them. Shout louder, he said. Surely he is a god. Perhaps he is deep in thought, or busy, or traveling. Maybe he's asleep and must be awakened. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come here to me. They came to him, and he pre repaired the altar of the Lord which had been torn down. Elijah took twelve stones, one for each of the tribes descended from Jacob, to whom the word of the Lord had come, come, saying, Your name shall be Israel. With the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and he dug a trench around it, large enough to hold two Say, says of seed. Now he arranged the wood, cut the bull into pieces, and laid it on the wood. Then he said to them, Fill four large jars with water, and pour it on the offering and on the wood. Do it again, he said, and they did it again. Do it a third time, he ordered, and they did it uh, the third time. The water ran down around the altar and even filled the trench. At that time of sacrifice, the prophet Elijah stepped forward and prayed, Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known today that you are are God in Israel, and that I am your servant, and have done all these things at your command. Answer me, Lord, answer me, so these people will know that you, Lord, 
are our God, and that you are turning their inheritance and turning their hearts back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and burned up the sacrifice, the wood, the stones, and the soil, and also licked up the water in the trench. Wow, boy, I tell you what, those prayers were answered in a hurry. Much like God knows, he hears everything, he knows everything, and in due time, he will answer everything. So all those prayers that you pray in vain, and you don't think he's paying attention to, well, guess what? He hears you. Alrighty, hey, that looks like um, the end of the daily bread portion of the program, which was brought to you today by The Bible with Briscoe 2020, a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Don't forget to catch your daily reading of the Bible daily on The Bible with Briscoe 2020. All right, that looks like it does it for me today, so the Shin Show has come to a conclusion. So what we're going to do is sing one more song for you, and that would be, Oh, well, goodbye, my friends. It's uh, time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's uh, time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. This here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Don't forget to tune in to the Shin Show. Uh, and you know, as always, God loves you. And so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, you know, I'll be here. And I hope that you are too. <laughs>